Hi, I'm Alex Anders, and this is the Bisexual Romance Author Vlog, and I'm kind of back. So I had said that after I wrote two books and published them that I would again do a video or go back to making videos. Guess what I finished yesterday and I finished doing today? Publishing my second book! Yay! So I have been able to accomplish the things I want to accomplish. And now I'm doing a video because, well, it's only been like an hour and I'm going stir crazy. Need something to do. So I thought, why not say hello and give you guys an update on what I've been doing and maybe come with an idea of what I'll be doing soon. So what have I been doing with my time? So I haven't posted since I think it was like January. Um, and I can say pretty accurately that I've been doing nothing. I've been doing basically nothing, at least for January. January, I looked at, you know, Google, like I have an Android phone and I have my Google Maps turned on. So it tells me like where I've been for the entire month. And for the month of January, I went to literally eight places. And basically it was the grocery store, uh, the climbing gym. Once I went to REI, once I went to a games night, once I went to drop off a cable box to the cable company, and that's it. Like that's all I left my home in all of January because I was so scared of spending money uh, and doing anything like that, that I was like, no, I'll just stay at home and work. That's all I'll do. So basically that was all of January and February. I did some more stuff. I did. Um, I went outdoor rock climbing for the first time, outdoor, outdoor bouldering rock climbing for the first time, which was fun. Um, I've done some hiking, which has been good. So in February, I've been getting out a little bit more uh, had another game tonight. Um, I don't know if I've actually gone out, out. I don't think I have yet. It's still something because that's all that money you spend on drinks and whatnot that I'm not willing to do yet. But that's where I am. But the good news is that uh, for, in terms of financially, although December was, December to January, that January 1st was like my worst, my absolute worst because I couldn't make, I couldn't make rent. Um, I could, but it just, I had to transfer money in order to do it. Uh, and it took, like, I didn't make it on time. Um, whereas from January to February, I was a little stressed going into it, but I was able to do it with no problem. And, um, uh, my sales for, and it goes back two months. So that means my upcoming sales, my upcoming payment's going to be for December. Uh, so from, from February to March, will be also not an issue because I made more in December than I did in November and all that stuff. So in terms of financially, I'm starting to breathe again. I'm not quite there where I can like start paying off my debts, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And in terms of book sales, surprisingly, it's actually been my German sales that have been really good for me. I've figured out the formula in Germany. It's not in France whatever reason I've published two books in French they both have done very poorly like they hit the bestsellers list both of them hit like the top 100 Amazon bestsellers list in France which is great but then they dropped off really quickly and never came back up I thought it was because of the reviews so I did something and like I took a book and reposted it uh, so it would be disconnected from the reviews and it still hasn't done well in fact it did worse than the one with the bad reviews on it so now I'm running advertisements with the bad reviews and it's slowly making money the advertisements have been working it's been making money but not enough to like justify me doing any more French books but the German books have all been doing really well and and that's been keeping me afloat so actually now I'm more excited about my latest release being translated into German than I am about into English so uh thanks to my German books they've been you know keeping me going and afloat and all that stuff. Uh, and I told you I have written two books since the last time and written and published two books since the last time. That would be in English. Um, and I can say that the first book I published was a book called Hurricane Lane. And Hurricane Lane, I first published everywhere else like Barnes & Noble, Apple, Google, Kobo. Um, those are the main ones. I published it there first for two weeks and then I released it on Amazon. On those other sites, I ran advertisements against it uh, for it and the advertisements worked really well. 
you can't spend a lot of money on those other sites, but the money I was able to spend, like for example, on Barnes and Noble, I was able to like double my money for profit. Like, so it was, I made something like 1.8, no, 2.8. So I'd left, let's say I spent $10, I made 30 sort of thing. On Barnes and Noble, same thing was true for uh, Kobo. And then I made five times the amount I invested on Amazon. Um, so it's not a lot of money, but it does show me before it went to Amazon that the book cover works, the uh, description works, and the advertisement design I have for it works. So that was all a great sign. I published Hurricane Lane on Amazon and it has, I'm not gonna say it flopped. I'm gonna say that it has earned nothing. Like basically on Amazon, since I've transferred over, I make less on Amazon than I did everywhere else per day, um, which is like, I make like $2.50 a day on Amazon on that book, which is of course exceptionally lower than all of my other books in the past before this whole thing happened. Uh, but it's kind of in line with what um, Aladdin's Jasmine or Her Two Wishes made, which is not great. Uh, but I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, so I've ran advertisements with it and I can tell that if I run advertisements, I will get more sales. But unfortunately, I have to spend so much on advertising that I don't make a profit. And I kind of had all this in mind. Like my new strategy for publishing is not just one releasing standalones anymore. It's actually to re release series. So the second book I released is the second book in the series. I plan on releasing probably four more books in that series because what it means is I can run, I can spend a lot more advertising and people will read the first one and a certain percentage of that will go on to the second one and the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one. And that is how everyone who makes like six figures and more as an author, that is how they do it. And that is how I will be doing it. So even though the book is not doing well now, I know that if I run advertisements, it'll do better. Um, and in order for it to do better, like in order to make a profit, I have to have more books. So me releasing the second book, which I released, well, I released it everywhere, like Barnes & Noble, Apple, Google, Kobo, yesterday. So it's alive there today on those channels. Um, and then because of the timing of stuff, like I, I had set a pre-order date back before I had finished Hurricane Lane and I had to make that. And I just in, under the wire made that um, to upload the book to Amazon in the period they want, the grace period they want before it will go live. So I, I made it like I had four hours to spare um, when I finished Burning Blaze, which is the name of the book. Uh, and I got it like right on the wire there. I got it in time. But that means it'll only be on the other sites for like two and a half days. Just so my readers from those other sites can get the book if they so choose to get the book. I'm running advertisements against it right now. Hopefully everyone who wants it can get it because once it leaves there on the 28th, 29th, it'll go on to Amazon. It'll be exclusive there uh, for who knows how long, a long time probably. So hopefully having that go into the other um into the, you know, onto, into the series, I'll be able to run more ads with it and then make a profit and things will be good. You know, so now going back to the fact that I'm only making $2.50 a day in English with this book, which is kind of, which is kind of interesting because that means that, like I, I know that once it gets translated into German and that's scheduled to be sent to me on the 20, like, like the first or second of March. So that'll be the German version. I'll upload that. And I know that as soon as I do, it'll be making a minimum of $15 a day, mostly somewhere probably around like $20, $25 a day. So I know that the German version is gonna do well. I'm gonna make a profit with the German version. Like within a month, I'll start turning a profit. Yet the English version is just kind of stumbling out of the gate. And of course, we remember how I freaked out, if, if you watch those videos, how I freaked out over Aladdin's Jasmine and all, and which became Her Two Wishes and how I was making so little money. It's following the same patterns as current book. And you know what? I went back and looked at all of my previous books and realized that whenever I had taken a break from releasing a book, 
it always took two and a half months before the book reached its peak, whatever it would be. Two and a half months. So as I released, uh, going back to Her Best Bad Decision, on Amazon, once I released that, the sales of Her Two Wishes started going up. And it kind of aligns with the two, three month period when it started going up in sales and also in line with me releasing another book. So I'm thinking that back when I was doing Her Two Wishes and all those other books, I have a feeling that a lot of why it wasn't doing as well as it could have been was because it was a new pen name. It was a similar pen name, but it was a different pen name. Um, and because I didn't have enough books underneath that pen name. That's what I'm starting to believe it was because it started to get better when I released Her Best Bad Decision. So the fact that Hurricane Lane is not doing as well as I had hoped um, probably has more to do with the fact that it's a new pen name and that it's it's only been like 20 days since I released it. I do know in the past that Amazon, like if, if you go onto Amazon, you go there, you'll you'll always see, you know, also bots. The people who bought this item also bought this other item. Previously, it used to take them a lot less time to get your book into other people's also bots. It used to happen, I think, within 10 days. Now I notice that it took 20 days before Hurricane Lane ended up in other people's also bots. And it just happened just happened. In fact, I just got my also bots on my book. Like if you go onto my book, Hurricane Lane, you go and check out for the first time today, or maybe it was yesterday, it has the books that people also bought when they purchased my book. That took a long time. And I know people have been getting it because I can see the sales. So I don't know why it took so long, but it just might be a new thing. But anyway, uh, it just got the also bots. And I think it just might be taking, it just might take a while now for that, for Amazon's algorithms and all the things it does for it to kick in. I'm thinking that's what the situation is. But having released Burning Blaze, oh, and also with Hurricane Lane, um, one aggressive thing I did this time was I found this service where you can pay and people will write, will, it's a service where readers can sign up for this site for free and they can get advanced reader copies of books. I signed up for it, it was kind of pricey, but I paid for it, 75 people requested versions of the book uh, to review. So far I've gotten 56 reviews, and with 61 total, um, I have an average rating of four, four stars. So again, I know the book, people who like this genre like the book. Everything's good about it, it's just that People aren't checking it out, and most likely because people don't know it's there, I'm gonna guess. I'm not quite sure, but I'm not worried. Um, luckily, I have my German sales that are keeping me, you know, keeping me going, and I have a new German book coming out. I have Hurricane Lane in German coming out in a couple days, so I'm not worried, even if it's just the German books that keep me afloat for a while. It's all good. Finally, I can say that. It's all good. And eventually, I guess once the English sales start kicking in, I'll be able to start paying back my debt, in which case it'll all be good. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Her uh, Burning Blaze is coming out um, in a couple of days on Amazon, and I'll up how much I can spend on advertising, and hopefully it'll all be good. But that's what I've been up to. Now I am... I don't think I took enough time. In fact, I know for a fact I didn't take enough time between writing Hurricane Lane and Burning Blaze. It might have affected the book a little bit. I'm not quite sure yet because I just finished editing it yesterday. So I haven't had time to reflect on it. But I, I do know that this book is a lot less emotional than the other books have been. My last two books, Hurricane Lane and, and Her Best Bad Decision. It's, it's less opportunities to cry, but there's also more, it's more, there's more humor in it 
going throughout. It's not like laugh out loud funny, like her best bad decision was in the beginning. Um, and it probably isn't quite as funny in the beginning as Hurricane Lane was. But this one, there's more humor throughout. They're more sarcastic and all that stuff. I worry that I have not differentiated the characters enough. Because in my head, they kind of all kind of have that similar voice. I know they're different. They are definitely different. Of course, they have different motivations. And when you read it, if you were to read it, you would feel they're different characters. But from the author's perspective, I they all have different personalities, but they all have similar senses of humor. And that's one way I can tell when the characters are not, like from an author's standpoint, they're not as clear as they could be. Like for example, other books, the characters are all distinctly different and some of them don't have a sense of humor. Like, like there are three characters, three main characters. One would have a sense of humor, one would kind of have a sense of humor and one wouldn't. Whereas with Burning Blaze, they all have a sense of humor. They're all kind of sarcastic, kind of, you know, jokey. Uh, and although they might be joking about different things, they all are like that. And that just makes me think that I just didn't have enough time to flesh out the different personalities sharp enough to make them all different. And I have to think that I didn't have enough time to work out the the emotional arcs more. Like they're there and there's a good chance that you might cry when you're reading this book. But I didn't cry. I didn't cry when reading this book. And I cry when I reread re -read, uh, Her Best Bad Decision. And I cry when I reread Hurricane Lane, I think. But I definitely didn't for Burning Blaze. And I think that that could be corrected moving forward if I just give myself more time between books. And this time, because I hadn't locked myself into a pre-order date, or because I haven't for my next book, I'll be able to do it. Last time, I just didn't have enough time. And it also affected me in terms of how fast I could write, because initially, I was only writing like 2,000 words a day for Burning Blaze, because I was just trying to figure out the characters as I went. And luckily, when I went back and reread it, like it was all distinct enough. But during the time, like I was just struggling just struggling. So I think this time taking more time, uh, coming up with a more emotional story arc, and also because now I'm working with so many more characters because the characters from like Hurricane Lane appeared in Burning Blaze. So I imagine that at least one of, or, or a few of the characters from those two books are going to appear in the next book. So now it's getting more complex because I also have to, like they're all, it's still billionaires. It's still long-term friends hooking up sort of thing. Like it still has all those rules, but now I need to work in the overall through line of the entire story into this book and also help figure out the opportunities to get the other characters into this book as well. So having all that together, I just need more time this, this time. So I'm gonna take some time off to let my mind re rejuvenate and kind of come up with some solutions and also do that. So that's kind of my plan moving forward, uh, at least for like the next week or so. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to be in terms of making videos for Bisexual Real Talk. I do have a video ID in mind. I know exactly what I want to do. I just don't know whether I'm going to do it this week or next week or whether I'm going to write one more book before I go back to posting videos on that channel. Not sure. But I do know I need some time off. I do, need, I do know that I need some more time. I can't just spend two days fleshing out a story and then going ahead and writing the next one. I don't even know if this... The, what the title of the next book is going to be. I just know that one of the characters is going to be Vandal, which is a character I mentioned in Burning Blaze. I kind of set him up to be the next billionaire that I'm going to do a story about. But that's all I know. But that's it for me right now. In terms of like, I was telling, I was joking with my mother that basically since the beginning of the year, I felt like, I feel like I've been neutered. I felt like Amazon neutered me. So I haven't even been thinking about dating. I haven't been thinking about anything personal. I'm just thinking about writing and surviving and rock climbing. That's all I've been doing, just those things there. And all of my social life has basically been, well, that's not true. I did some rock climbing, I had some game nights. I've hung out with friends, my, old, my friends at least once, my other friends at least once. But yeah, I haven't like, I haven't even been thinking about the idea like, Dating and sex? Are you kidding me? I can't do that. I'm too busy. I'm too broke to do that or something. Hopefully that'll change. Hopefully, like, I'll be able to, like, 
come back into my own and, you know, be me again. So this has been just a quick update on what I've been doing, what I've been up to. Um, I will be making videos again soon. What I really love is that if the sales for my English books pick up. And I know if my sales for my English books pick up, then I don't have to stress about anything. And I can return to life being normal and all that stuff. I don't have to work six days a week anymore. I don't have to work seven days a week because I've been working seven days a week, but I've been working hard, like six, seven hour days for six days a week. I can kind of pull it back a little bit and, you know, enjoy life because life isn't about working. Life is about living and it'd be great to get back to living. That's what I'm saying. So that's it for right now. Um, I'm not quite sure when I'm going to post a video again. Hopefully it'll be soon. Hopefully it'll be within a week or so. Um, but if it isn't, that means that I decided to start writing another book and just started churning that one out because ultimately when people are giving advice about how many books you should have before advertising, how many books you can have before you can expect to start selling stuff on a new pen name, the book is, the book is a minimum of three. And I've posted Burning Blaze would be two. So if I could just get one more out, then, you know, I can start evaluating how I'm doing. That's it for now. Until the next video, whenever that might be, Stay cooler, my bisexual and weeder friends. Stay cooler. Bye. Oh, and check out, uh, if you like the books, check out Hurricane Lane and Burning Blaze. There'll be links to it in the description below. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye.